Okay. So I'm at the uh, Mochi bus station in Bangkok. I'm going to uh, Korat to visit a friend. Taking a little break from the bus, the bike. Just wanted to show you pretty much how easy it is to travel. You go through that thing over there. It's sort of a security check. You put your bag through the thing. It's nothing serious. Then you come to any one of these ticket booths. And you find where your city's at. They all have a lot of cities. So, this is the lady that's in too. It's only 209. This is 64? Downstairs. Downstairs, okay. Okay, that way. And you pay the 209 baht. I already knew where it was at, but I just went back to her because she was so nice to me anyway. Um, and she speaks a little English, but that's not the point. In Thailand, you don't need to know, or, or any most of Asia, you don't, it's really easy to get around. You don't need to know English. You just kind of tell them where you want to go. There's the same town, Nekan Rajizna, or Karat. It's 209 baht. 209 baht is like $6. And it's a four hour bus ride. So in America, that would cost at least <laughs> probably $100. <laughs> just to travel across. America's so difficult. You just need your own car. It's the only real way. As you can see, they have a million 7-Elevens inside of this bus station. Thailand loves their 7-Elevens. Oh my God. I love their 7-Elevens though too. I've stated it before. It's one of my favorite things actually. And they have a cafeteria. It's really cheap here. As you can see, most of the things 30 baht, 35 baht, 40 to 60. 60 is two dollars, 30 baht is about one dollar. And they don't just have 7-Eleven food. Sabadi? Uh, they have all this nice food. So it's very cheap. And now we're gonna make our way down to the bus station area and board the bus. Excuse me. Excuse me. There they all are. Just waiting. Better hurry up and get down there because it is getting time to board. Our bus should be taking off any second. And I don't want to miss it. It'll be all your guys' fault. Just to make a video. Just because you wanted to see what it's like to get on a bus. I don't even want to do this. Why are you guys... <clears throat> Just kidding. Okay. I mean, it's probably pretty cool for you to see the buses. It's cool for me, I think. Uh, biggest reason I made this video is just because to show how easy and cheap and affordable it is to get around, especially in Thailand. I believe this is the one, 68, 64, the Chisma. Sixty-four, not counter Chisma. Okay. Where we put these? Yeah, yeah. Oh no. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Where do I put these? You want me to put them in the bottom? Here. Oh, thank you, sir. I will take. Uh, I will take this water. Alright, my man. <laughs> Thank you. It's not too bad. You can get sleeper ones too. And you can get trains. Trains are really cheap as well. There are sleeper buses. I don't know what they're like in Vietnam. They have chairs that lay all the way down pretty much. But here, on the buses, uh, 
I was told they have like a full bed. Full bed lays all the way down. They have a window, a little curtain. I'm not going to get there right now because I'm only going four hours and it's a little expensive. It's not expensive actually. It's like maybe $20 to go to Chiang Mai, which is a 12 hour ride. So a 12 hour ride in a sleeper bus, $20, you ain't paying nothing. This kind of nice. I like how close everything is. Oh, it's so nice. And I got a bus, oh, a door in case I want to get out of here really fast, commit suicide, whatever. If I want to help everybody get off the bus really fast. It's my responsibility, just like on an airplane. It's not a bad looking thing. They got a nice big TV over there in the front. Maybe we can watch some Thai movies. Hey, Thailand actually has some pretty decent movies. We go to Vietnam and they just have like really cheap movies. But Thailand they have like really good special effects. They dub all of American movies in the Thai. Even when I was in uh, South uh, Central America in Mexico, they hardly do that. Sometimes most of the movies are in English. You think there would be a lot more Spanish translated movies because there's a lot of Spanish people. But they translate all their movies in Thai. They have their own pop music. They have a lot of their own music in Thailand. In Lao, they're also listening to a lot of Thai music because they can listen to Thai. I mean, I'm kind of rambling off, but those are some fun facts about Thailand. It's very modernized. They have a lot of their own things. They even have their own classic rock music that's from older you know, That sounds almost comparable to some good American rock music. So, they have... Uh, a lot of culture, I guess you could say. I guess I'll cut this video off because the next thing I'll be doing in about five minutes is departing and that's pretty much it. Just wanted to show you guys. Maybe I'll show you some clips of the drive. It's not going to be that nice. It's mostly flat interstate, so I'm cutting the video off right here. Nice to see you guys. Hope you uh, found this interesting. It's not really much different than an American bus stop, so, yeah.